Hello and welcome back to the channel with me, the Orienteering Kid, where today we're in Budapest for the third round of the A category in Taurus Season 3. Yes, we are here for this third event in the Taurus Cup, a month-long series organised by course setters from across the world and can be found here on the Tempo Simulator, the link to which can be found in the description of this video. Now, today's event, we are returning to Budapest for a course set by Zoltan Mahaxi, and those of you that have been taking part in the Taurus Trophy will know that Zoltan has been organising all of them, so I am sure that today's event will be as fun and exciting as those events, with Dusan Farouk advising the course as well. And as always, I'm really looking forward to it. We are in a good position after the first two days, currently in first, although there has been a slight change to the results in previous days. If you have been following the information, the sixth station on day one was voided due to it being fairly difficult to precisely place where the alpha kite was based on the second task, and so my score did drop slightly due to that voided station, but most people's did drop slightly, so I am still holding on to that first place. And you can see at the top there that there was an appeal made by the course setter and advisor to void station four on the second day, however that was rejected and that does still stand. So yeah, that's the changes that's happened to last week's, but we are in a new week now. So let's go and have a go at today's event as we go into the Taurus Season 3 section, the Advanced section, and we're going into Day 3, which today has a 1 to 3,000 map with 1 meter contours. That's quite small, so we've got to try and remember that contours are going to be basically every small lump on the ground, with 8 stations and a 30 second penalty for every wrong answer, with a zero tolerance of 4 meters, no side problems. And I think that is the common zero tolerance that's Sultan has been using throughout his competitions previously. The terrain is park and floodplain forest and there are special instructions being that the black circle is a lamp or a pylon and warning signs on the embankment are not shown on the map. So we've just got to remember that we're not going to be able to see the signs but we will be able to see lamps or pylons on the maps that we're given. As always my answers will be appearing in the top right hand corner of the screen so you can see exactly what I'm putting correct or wrong with the black and red letters at the moment that I do. And yeah with that let's have a go at the third round of this season of the Taurus Cup. And here is station one. Okay, there's the building at the back with um, Foxtrot potentially on the tree over there. There's the stairs, the building. Um, those are the stairs, the other side of the tree. It's Bravo or nothing. That is the only tree, so that's got to be Bravo. Um, I can also believe that's Echo, with nothing being at the back there. Um, that, that's got to be Foxtrot and that tree side is going to be Charlie. And I was slow going into that station, but I think I was just trying to get my bearings a bit, get an idea of the map, and it was really that first task which was confusing me slightly, because I had seen two trees on the map in the open land where Bravo was going to be, but I hadn't quite noticed that the second tree was going to be right up against the stairway, so I was debating whether it was going to be Bravo or not for the first task, but I think it was. And then things started to fit through there. I thought that was quite a nice station to start with. It was quite tough, but Foxtrot was clearly on that spur, I'm pretty sure. And the zero for the third task could be on the wrong set of stairs I think was also clear and so we will just move straight on now to station two. Okay um, it's all the bumps this is where the one meter contour is going to be with a couple of dashes. Um, I feel like that's too far back. Yeah it's got to be too far back. That knoll Oh, it's the thicket instead, actually, so that's got to be Bravo. That tree, I don't think there's anything on that tree. Yeah, Fox Shot's not there. Um, I also... F I think there's another Null hiding behind Echo, so that one is going to be with... Alpha on that knoll. And that again was a slightly more interesting station. It did take me a short while again to get there. And I think for me, it was just trying to place all the knolls because it was quite hard to place them, especially since there were so many. And that first task being a zero did confuse slightly, but I think it was clear that none of the kites were going to be that far back. And then things fitted from there. The hardest task there for me was putting Echo for the fourth task, as it kind of looked like there was another knoll in front of Echo, but I think that was all one knoll and there was a knoll hiding behind it. But yeah, I am fairly happy with how this is going. I think the stations have been quite interesting so far and so we will move straight on now to station three 
Okay, it's going to be some more knolls probably with four or five trees. Um, so that hill. Okay, so that's the area of the knolls before. That hill. Well, that re-entrant on the hill. I think it's got to be Echo with Southern Knoll being Alpha. With line of three trees, tree at the back. I can believe that's Delta with that being the wrong knoll. Yeah, it's got to be. And a knoll at the front. There was clearly a pit there, so that one's Charlie. And it does seem like maybe going slower on these stations might be good, considering I've done about 30 seconds for all of them. And really there, it was trying to place the hill of the first task, being the hardest part, I think. But then once we spotted the knolls of Alpha and Bravo, that really brought us straight to Echo. And we did go to Alpha for the second task, so I was fairly confident with that. The fourth one being a zero, I'm slightly sceptical of it being Foxtrot, but I think Foxtrot was on the right-hand knoll and we wanted the left-hand one, which we couldn't see. And I think I am okay with that one, so we will just move on now to station four. Okay, this is where the forest comes in, but the contours are definitely going to be here. I've got all six kites. Um, that looks like the open land channel, surely. I think Charlie's there. Um, well, that doesn't look quite right now. Echo's the only one that fits that description, so I'm going to have to go with Echo. And maybe Alpha's in there. And that one's got to be Delta, actually. Um, with that one coming in... I think really has to be Foxtrot, and I've probably got the first one wrong there. With it taking me 50 seconds to do that station as well, that was definitely a hard station, or I found it hard at least. Trying to place all the contours, and really I was struggling to work out where all the patches of open land fitted. But the second and third tasks, I kind of understood where we were, with Echo for the second one and Alpha in the Depression for the first one, and then I think Delta and Foxtrot really fitted for the final two. So it's probably only the first one I got wrong, because I put Charlie, but it's probably a zero. You will know that already though, it's the benefits of hindsight. But yeah, we've kind of got to forget about that now as we cross to the halfway point of the day and go into station five. Okay there's a path that's going to be the thing here, um, there's the contours, um, that's the path, that's the wiggle in the path, so I think that's got to be delta. Um, I feel like that's too far back. And I kind of want that one to be Echo. If I'm going with Echo. Um, and the re-entrant, lower part of re-entrant. Is that Alpha? Yeah. And that Spur. Am I going to believe Foxtrot's there? Yeah, I am. And I think there, for the final task, I kind of just had to go with it, as I could have sat there for ages thinking whether Foxtrot was in the right place or not, and I probably would have wasted more time thinking about it than actually answering it and getting it wrong if I was wrong. But I am fairly confident that Foxtrot was in the right place there. The first task was the nicest one there, in my opinion, being on the side of the path for Delta, and then we kind of just had to work with that, with the second one, I'm pretty sure, being a zero, being way too far away from us. Echo on the spur sort of thing. And then I'm also fairly confident about Alpha, although I was debating Bravo for the fourth task, but Bravo seemed too close to the bend in the path closest to me, so I was fairly happy with that one being Alpha, and then the final one we debated for a bit, but I think I just had to go with it. And this is turning out to be a fairly tough day, although I am really enjoying it still, and really I think anything could happen as we go into Station 6. Okay, um, where's the six? Oh, there's one right back there. Okay, um, two trees, building top tree I think has to be Echo um, and then it's right at the back but I'm pretty sure that's the wrong bit yeah um, that tree that's also the wrong tree that's got to be Charlie 
and that is the wrong tree. So I did end up doing that station a lot quicker, but I think it was a bit easier, and I think people probably could do that station quicker than some of the others, as it was really just picking out all the trees, and I think I've probably seen the Charlie lamppost as a tree to start with, but once we got the map, it was clear that there was meant to be a lamppost there, and the two trees to the right-hand side near the building, I thought was very clear as being the trees with Echo on, and Echo was definitely on the right tree. So that one was good for Echo there, and then we went out to the bush miles away, and it'd be interesting to see whether we were actually stood on the map for that one. However, I do think it was clearly a zero as Bravo, even though it took me a long time to see, was probably by the patch of scattered trees rather than the woodland that I think we wanted. And I think there were two more zeros in that, with the tree just back from Alpha being the wrong tree and then out to the lamppost of Charlie and I still think it was the wrong tree going for Delta on the wrong one of the triangle of three that was there. So I'm pretty sure there were three zeros in that station and I do think that was probably a station where I'm going to make up some time, but we will have to see afterwards whether that was all right as we move on to the penultimate station of the day which is station 7. Okay more trees, um, just remember Fox Shop back there and Alpha's miles away actually. Um, double tree, that's only really got to be where Echo is isn't it? Um, and that post out there. I'm believing that's Alpha, that may be wrong. Tree across from it. I don't think there are any trees there. I feel like it's that one, or it could be there. I'm going to zero it. Um, that tree south side is Bravo, and that tree I believe is Delta. And there was definitely one very difficult task there which took up the time for me. Being the third one, trying to spot whether Charlie was in the right place or not, I had a gut feeling from the start that it was definitely going to be a zero and I'd put zero in the end, but that could have easily been Charlie and so I did want to check it. But the other four I thought were clear, starting on the double tree where Echo and Foxtrot were was a good starting location to help anchor us. And then we went out to the lamppost, which if it wasn't Alpha I couldn't really see where else it could have been so I just believed it. And also the fourth task being on the massive tree in front of us being Bravo, and then the massive tree to the right of it being Delta. I thought they were both clear as well. So again, I am actually happy with that station and we will just move on now to the final station of the day, which is station eight. Okay, um, six kites on the hillside. The bump where Alpha is is gonna be the thing here. Um, could that be that bump there where the lampposts? I can't see the lamppost, but is that the path? So that's the spur, and I feel like that's actually where Foxtrot is. That would work. Spur the other side. Is that a depression? Um, but I feel like that's the other side of that spur, so is a zero. Delta's down low. Um, we have Alpha on the spur, and nothing in the re-entrant further up. I'm believing that. And really it was a slower station to end the day but I'm glad I took the time especially to spot Foxtrot for the first task as even if I got it wrong straight away I think spending 21 seconds to find that was definitely better. And overall I do think this was a fairly hard day today. Quite a lot of the stations were tough to read and I have definitely made at least one mistake in it but let's go and have a look at them now with station one. This was probably quite a nice station to open in on actually as what I saw here was a building back there. There's some thicker trees by Echo and there's definitely a hillside. So once I had that sorted what we wanted was a tree on the sort of hillside after we go round the corner. So I had seen the building, that was almost certainly going to be this building here. So we come down and we can see the hill right in front of us. There's this line of three trees there that works. And then we go round past the staircase to the first tree that we reach. And so going round past the staircase, which is here, the first tree that we reach is going to be Bravo. I had seen this tree in the circle and wondered whether Bravo was actually on this tree, but I think that tree is probably the thicket that's a lot further back. So I think this one is definitely Bravo to start us off being on the southwestern side of that tree and then we go out to the northern outside corner of that paved area and we can't actually see the paved area so what else do we have to go on well what I saw were the thickets back there or the trees and there's obviously one closer to us and then there's a few back there so we have the one closer to us being the one with no kites on and then we go back to there to the couple of trees and there is a kite there just in front of the back tree there so it is definitely going to be in about the right place for the paved area there but again we can't really see the paved area so we haven't got a guarantee of 
that but it does look in about the right place and so I'm fairly happy that one is echo and then moving on to the third task we want the southwestern outside corner of some stairs and looking over to the left hand side again there is some stairs here and alpha is on the southwestern outside corner of them however that is the first set of stairs we have here we want the second set which is the set behind the bravo tree just there and there is no kite on the corner of that one so that one is definitely a zero and I do think that was quite a nice task especially coming from the right hand side of the echo task before we then sent back to the right hand side and we want the spur and really this is only going to be foxtrot or zero we are going the other side of the paved area which we can just see coming down here and foxtrot does just seem to be the other side of that paved area and so I am fairly happy that that one is foxtrot although again it is slightly ambiguous like the echo one so I am less happy with it than some other tasks but I think I'm going to stick with the fact that that one is foxtrot so that one was quite tough there before we then came back to the left hand side and we want a tree and I'm wondering now whether this one is actually a zero and I think it probably is and this is quite a cruel one because what we can see here is a tree and Charlie is on the western side of it so that one would put us as Charlie however Charlie's cane obviously comes into the ground here and it's not quite gone to the top of the hill so I think Charlie's actually going to be here the wrong side of the path to be on the tree and I think this one is a zero to end off the station and is my first mistake so well done if you did manage to get that one right I think that was quite a tough station to open in on although it didn't really get much easier as we came into station two and we have a load of hills in front of us or at least I thought they were going to be contoured hills as they are definitely more than a metre high but they were all mapped as knolls and that did confuse me to start with but we did just have to go with it and here we want the eastern part of a hill and it's this rounded sort of hill in the circle and really any of these things in front of us could be this sort of rounded c-shaped hill but if we can only see contours we have to use some other things so we could go with vegetation and trees and what I saw to the right hand side was some thickets with Bravo and Charlie on them and I believe these are the thickets down here next to the knolls we're not quite in the white woodland I believe that this massive distinctive tree is probably the one here just inside the woodland or it's this corner actually and then once we see that we have to go over four knolls and then we reach the hill so already it seems a long way back from where we are but we have one two knolls with delta on the top of the second one and then a third one which I'm pretty sure echo is on top of with a fourth one hiding behind there and then we have to go back even further for the hill so we're definitely not going to be able to see it and I'm pretty sure that one is a zero to start us off before we then came forward to a thicket and I put Bravo for this one and I'm fairly confident it is that thicket we want with the two point knolls to the left of it and you can see the one here with one probably hiding behind it actually with Charlie on it I'm pretty sure and so that one should be Bravo there on that thicket before moving off to the right hand side and we want a tree and this is actually a similar task to the fifth task in station one as Foxtrot is definitely on the western side of that tree just as we're looking at it but the cane is actually implanted in the knoll in front of us and so this one is definitely a zero as it's not actually on the tree back there so that was a nice task and it was similar to 15 so I wouldn't be surprised if 15 caught you out as well as this one if you did get this one wrong and then we moved to the fourth task and this one took a bit longer trying to decide whether Echo was on the top of this knoll or not but I'm pretty sure that there aren't going to be any knolls in front of Echo although now looking at it there could actually be I don't know if this is the clearest of tasks to be perfectly honest as I am starting to at least see myself that there is a sort of knoll boundary shape there and it's really not very clear but I'm wondering whether this one should actually be a zero rather than echo and I do think I'm probably changing my answer now looking at it I'm gonna go with zero this was the one that I thought was hardest in the station and I think I probably have got it wrong so yeah that one probably should be zero now on that knoll before we then came and finished forward on a knoll and it's right on the boundary of the woodland we said that the distinctive tree here was going to be the first tree that we can see that also matches up with the two knolls with delta on the top of this one and the one to the left of it is definitely going to be alpha so that was a nice task to finish the station but it does look like I have made another mistake in this station and so well done if you did manage to get this one completely right as again it was another difficult one and moving on to station three it didn't really get much easier as we had a different view of the same area and what we had here was I could see a couple of bumps here by Bravo and Alpha although Alpha might be too small to be mapped there's obviously some trees at the back I saw a line of three trees with one slightly behind it and another tree there potentially and when the map came we wanted a hill with a re-entrant in it and so I saw two kites which could plausibly be the answer here being Bravo or Echo as they are both on the left hand side of the hills where the re-entrant is meant to be but looking where the trees are at the back we've obviously got the line of three trees here and then we come forward from the right hand of the three trees to the hill so coming forward we reach this hill here which must be the hill we want and in the re-entrant is going to be the Echo kite so I was happy to answer Echo to start that station 
position and that does seem to fit a lot better as we came to the two nulls afterwards wanting the southwestern nulls nulls to the left hand of the two and alpha and bravo are clearly on the two nulls back there with the elongated one being the one that bravo is on and the one we actually want being the small one of alpha so that was a nice second task to help place us for this station before we then move to the middle tree for the control description and it's the middle one in this line of three so if i have placed myself correctly that this tree this tree and this tree are the three in the line the middle one is going to be where delta is and it is on the eastern side of that tree so i'm very happy to say that that one is delta before we then moved behind the hill to the middle knoll and the reason it's the middle knoll is because of the one on the left hand side of the circle there but we want this knoll here and it's going to be behind the hill as we're looking at it so looking over there we can see a foxtrot kite but I think it is in the wrong location as I believe the knoll we want is hiding behind there the other way of seeing this is there isn't definitely a knoll to the right hand side of foxtrot that is close enough to make foxtrot the left hand of the two so I'm fairly confident to say that foxtrot is on the right hand of the two making this task a zero as we want a different knoll so well done if you did manage to get the one right before we finally came forward and we wanted a knoll and really I hadn't really seen Charlie being on top of a knoll I'd seen there was a small bump of ground there but I guess if it's as big as the alpha bump it is definitely going to be on a knoll as well and it's just the western side of the pit to which there is clearly a pit at the edge of the photo here so Charlie is on a bump to the western side of the pit that puts Charlie on the correct knoll and that was a nice Charlie to finish off the station and I think I probably have made no mistakes in this station this still felt as hard as the previous two but I I hadn't quite seen the tricks in the previous two and so I think this one probably was a bit easier overall. Before we then move to station four into the forest and I think I have definitely got the first task wrong here in my opinion as what we want here is quite a low spur and we want the northwestern inner circle and really what I saw here was there is some potentially open land in this section and it kind of spills into this woodland area but there aren't any distinctive trees so maybe that should have told me that this isn't all going to be open land and the open land just comes here but I had seen the open land in the circle and I kind of seen this strip with alpha in being a small bit of open land as well although it's not quite wide enough to be this bit and that should have been the alarm bells ringing and so in spotting that I put Charlie on the spur however I do think this one is a zero as I believe that alpha is actually in this depression instead and so that puts Charlie here with Bravo back on this spur and I think the spur we want is actually to the left of Bravo back there probably around there and so this one is definitely a zero to start off the station and it does turn out that this one wasn't actually a no zero station like I originally thought but that one is definitely a zero before we then came to my realisation that I was wrong as we only moved just to the right hand side of where I thought Charlie was and we want to spur and it didn't really seem to match up with where Foxtrot was as this was the answer I was considering to start with but then I saw that Foxtrot is probably on this spur here instead and that fits with the depression this is where I was happy that Alpha was in that depression and so the spur back there is actually going to be Echo so here I'd already taken more than half my time for the station but I think this one was a lot clearer as Echo for the second task and then we came to the depression which we have already talked about and I think if Alpha's not there this is going to be a very cool task so well done if you did manage to get the one right off Alpha this was definitely the key point for anchoring myself before we then went out to the spur and it is just across from the spur of Echo and so we come across to the left and the only spur looking thing here is going to be where Delta is it kind of fits with the contour so I'm very happy to say that one is Delta for the fourth task before we come out to where we think we've placed Foxtrot for the final task opposite Echo again and so I think that is Foxtrot to end off the station and I think that is really only one mistake again we're on three mistakes so they are starting to add up a bit but I do think that was again a harder station so well done if you did manage to get that all right and then moving on to station five it didn't really get much easier again although I think this first task was quite nice to place as what I saw here was a path running through and it kind of ends up here on the top of an embankment and there could really be some paved area at the top and when the map comes up we have quite a nice wiggly path fitting the area and there is some paved area at the top of a hill so I knew straight away that we were looking at the right path and so the only kite on that path is delta and it is up by the last bend in the path which is about where the center of the circle is so with delta being on the eastern side of the path I was happy to say that that one was delta to start us off before we then moved right the way back to a spur and really coming down echo is going to be on this form line spur here I'm pretty sure with foxtrot on this more pointy spur and so that makes me fairly certain that this spur is going to be even further back and so is a zero but I wouldn't actually be surprised if this one was foxtrot so we will have to see that afterwards but I'm pretty sure that it is a zero so we are going to stick with that and then we come forward to the spur which I'm pretty sure I've placed echo on it does fit with the depression as well so that one should be echo there just to the right hand side of the path and then the hardest one to come to here was 
was whether this re-entrant is going to be Alpha or Bravo. But I think the deciding thing for me here was spotting the path coming round with this bend and seeing it being cut out of the control circle and looking at Bravo and thinking it's too close coming down the hill to the bend in the path. Bravo is probably about here and there does seem to be a sort of re-entrant here where Alpha is. There doesn't seem to be any other place on the map it could be and so I'm fairly certain that Alpha is in the bottom part of that re-entrant and that one should be Alpha. Although this was the longest task in the station for me so it is the one I'm least confident on. Before then going out to the spur which I'm pretty sure I had placed Foxtrot on for the final task. That definitely fits with where I placed Echo before and the Zero being a lot further away so I'm going to stick with that one being Foxtrot. And to me that was a slightly easier station especially with the path coming through but I think quite a lot of people could have done that a bit quicker so well done if you did manage to get that all right. And then coming into station 6 we definitely sped up a bit in this station as I think this one clicked a lot better for me. And what we want here is a patch of two trees and we want the southeastern of the two. So where distinctively are we going to be on the map? Well there is only one building on the map and there is a building here. So that's definitely going to help place us but where can we place all the distinctive trees? Now there's five in a patch here and there's one further down. So I think these five are going to be the five here with alpha and delta on either end of them and then once we've got those two we can say that the patch of two is just going to be forward and to the right of them and so coming forward and just to the right is going to be these two putting the southeastern one as the echo one and I'm fairly happy to say this one is echo for the first task before we then went out to the left hand side and we wanted the western edge of some woodland and the only kite really feasible for considering here is going to be the bravo kite out the back there however looking in relation to some of the features that we have seen here including the five trees bravo seems a lot too far back and probably on this area here instead and I believe the kite should actually be on the trees back there so I'm fairly happy that this one is a zero before we then came forward to the patch of five trees in this area and we want the distinctive tree that's kind of between the triangle of three and the one on its own and if you're not looking too carefully and count from the bottom wanting the second tree from the bottom you could say that alpha is on the second tree from the bottom and this one is alpha however I believe that this tree is actually the one down here not part of the patch of woodland as I'm presuming the canopies don't touch and so alpha is actually on the bottom one of this patch and the tree we actually want is this one here that also fits with the three trees here being the triangle of three and delta being on this tree at the back which we will come to later and so this one is definitely a zero as it's the wrong tree a much clearer task though I think was going out to the black circle and here we want the lamppost and looking out behind the triangle of three trees there is definitely a post there by Charlie Charlie is on the eastern side of that post and that does look like it could easily be a lamppost so that one should be Charlie there for the fourth task before we then come forward and we are looking at the triangle of three trees and we want the closest one to us but looking here Delta is definitely on the back right one and not the closest one to us which is this one making the answer to this one zero and this was actually a three zero station like I originally thought although I have actually just gone back to the second task and I was right when I was talking just after this station in saying we aren't actually stood on the map for task 62 and this is quite interesting because we are actually meant to be stood where we can see and so I think especially for the second task this might have confused quite a lot of you as maybe you thought we were stood down here instead although the path does seem too far away and this is an interesting one as this shouldn't really happen so I'm not really going to make too many comments on that now as I think to me it was clearly a zero as I hadn't really thought about our standing location but I can see why some of you might have got that one wrong thinking we were actually stood on the map but overall this was a good station I think three zeros in this station was definitely plausible because it was a fairly easy station compared to some of the others so I don't think that took away from it but well done if you did manage to get all of those right and then going on to station seven we went to another area of the same sort of area and here what I saw in the photo which really pointed stuff out to me was the double tree here with echo on the left hand one and foxtrot back there somewhere so really this was the key feature for me spotting all six kites was hard especially since this line at the top I don't think was quite aligned with the alpha kite as I think this line should have been slightly more to the right and really when the map loads we have the patch of two trees which we had anchored on to start with and we want the southwestern one and the southern side of it so that is going to be the left hand one the southern side is the left hand side again and that does put echo on the southern side of that tree so I was happy to answer echo to start that one and then moving on to task two we want a lamppost back there and really it was the first lamppost I could see that you reach but alpha is clearly on a lamppost so I was happy to say that one to start with but coming back from the patch of two trees we then go to a distinctive tree to the left hand side which I'm pretty sure is the one with delta on which then goes across to the left hand side further to where bravo is on this tree and then 
just going back, the first lamppost we hit is probably the one that Alpha's on, so I'm fairly happy to say that Alpha is the answer to the second task. Although again, we're not actually stood on the map for this task, as the area that we stood is down here. And so I do think maybe this could have confused quite a few of you again, thinking you've maybe got the answer to the first task wrong, and this one isn't going to be Alpha. And again, I don't quite know how I feel about that, because we should really be stood on the map for all the tasks. But we will have to see what happens with that afterwards, but that one to me was clearly Alpha. And then we then moved for the third task, just to the right hand side, and we want the southern side of this distinctive tree. And the only one I was debating here, because it's right at the back, is Charlie. But we're only just going to the left hand side of where Alpha is, and so it's only just going to be the left hand side of Bravo as well, looking at the alignment of this tree. And the tree back there is probably going to be this massive distinctive tree, rather than the one to the right hand side, which I think is just part of the white woodland. So I think this one is a zero, although it did take me much longer than any other task in this station. And again, I think we are just off the map in this task. I think it's only just this time, and I don't think it hinders too much. Well, it definitely didn't hinder me, but I do think, again, we should really be on the map. And so maybe bringing the Alpha and Charlie kites forward, or Echo and Foxtrot back, and moving a bit closer to them to take the photo, putting them on maybe these slightly less distinctive trees here, would have definitely put us on the map. I know the tasks might have not been as interesting, but I think to me, keeping it fair is more important than making it interesting, and if you're not stood on the map, is it fair? I'll leave that question up to you. But then moving on to the fourth task, we come forward to the distinctive tree that is forward of Alpha and kind of on the line between Alpha and the pair of two trees here. And I do believe that is going to be Bravo as this is a fairly distinctive tree and there don't seem to be any other distinctive trees sort of in the area. So Bravo is definitely on the south side of that tree, putting the answer to this one as Bravo. And then finally we came to another distinctive tree just to the west of this patch of two trees. And I do think this one is probably Delta, just to the left hand side of it as we did place Delta before as we were moving back to Alpha. So that is Delta to end off the station and I do think I probably haven't got anything wrong in that station again. So well done if you did manage to get any of that station right, it was quite tough again before we move to the final station and I do think this was probably one of the hardest ones to finish it off, especially with this first task because we want a terrace here and really what I saw to start with is there is potentially a hill or a spur with Alpha on, a re-entrant where Bravo is, there's a couple of spurs here and Charlie and Foxtrot are back there and we have the white woodland so we can't really use the trees to go off but what are the other areas we could use well we have already had a previous station being station five that came with this path so can i see that path back there well there does seem to be a bit of a track there with a bend and it does come up to the top so i'm pretty sure that's where the path is and there is a lamppost there so actually i'm pretty certain that that is going to be the area here that puts charlie or delta in the depression that we come to later and then we can see there is a bit of open land here with a spur next to it coming down from Charlie and Delta, we reach this spur, and so that is probably what Alpha's on top, with Bravo at the edge of the open land, and then we come round and we want the spur to the right hand side of all of this, and so it's a debate between Echo and Foxtrot, but I am going to go with Foxtrot, as it is definitely on a spur, I can't see another spur to the right hand side on the map, and so I'm pretty sure this one is going to be Foxtrot, and Echo is just a bit further up the hill round, so that did take me 21 seconds to get to, but I am confident that that one is Foxtrot, before we then go out to another terrace further to the left hand side and this was a debate between alpha or zero but I'm fairly confident it is a zero as we had placed alpha on the spur here so that one should be a zero and then we go out to the depression and I had said that Charlie or Delta are going to be in the depression but which one is it going to be? Well Delta's a lot lower than Charlie and I think that's really the deciding factor here. I think Charlie's probably on the path where Delta was in station five and Delta is actually in the depression there so that one should be Delta for the fourth task and then we come forward to the spur which we have said Alpha is on in the first and second task so I am fairly happy to say that one is Alpha for the fourth task and then we go out to the re-entrant and this was quite a hard one to finish with and I'm wondering whether it is Bravo now rather than a zero but I'm going to stick with a zero because to me the centre of the circle is a bit further up the re-entrant to where Bravo is and so probably should be about there instead. Is that four metres away from Bravo? Just about so I think that is probably a zero to finish off the day and actually once we got past the first half of the day where we made three mistakes I don't think I made any mistakes in the final four so the second half definitely got a lot better for me than the first half that does take our final score to a time of 391 which I don't think is too bad at all for this hard day I think people's times are going to be a bit slower trying to read the contours trees and everything and most people will probably make some mistakes although saying that now there will probably be quite a few people with no mistakes but let's go and have a look at where this puts me in the overall leaderboard at the moment and you can see that I am 
in fifth. So that does surprise me a bit actually, especially when me thinking I've made three mistakes. But maybe as I said before, most people have made some mistakes today and we will have to see how quickly and how many mistakes people made. But we will see that when the results come out, so I will join you afterwards for the final results. And we are back to see that I have actually managed to hold on to this fifth place just about, coming in with actually five errors. Now we thought it was three before and we did manage to identify three of them before but it does turn out there were two more we will have to go have a look at afterwards. But firstly it is very well done to Tapani for winning today's event with a time of 306 seconds, 40 seconds quicker than Christian who was then 40 seconds again quicker than Lowry. Nobody today I don't think managed to do it with no mistakes so it does show it was a very hard day but in terms of where Tapani did manage to win the event it does look like it was probably in station four where he was a lot quicker than quite a lot of people in the top 20 and then also definitely in station eight where quite a lot of people in top 20 made at least one error and Tapani was almost a minute quicker than Christian there managing to take the lead from him in the final station so very well done to him for doing so I think for me the most interesting thing in the percentages today is definitely here in station two where quite a lot of the percentages are okay apart from this fourth task where only nine percent of you or 43 of you managed to get it right 329 did go with delta and 75 went with echo i went with echo but we did manage to point out that there was actually a small hidden null that blended into the echo null and that was the null that we actually wanted so well done if you did manage to get that right and also station 8 did actually have some very low percentages because none of them here went above 65 percent and really the first and last tasks being the lowest with the first one having a spread of wrong answers between alpha fox and zero but 130 or 27 percent of you managed managed to go with Echo. Now I went with Foxtrot and I thought it was clear that Foxtrot was on a spur and because the spur we wanted was the rightmost on the hill I knew it could only be the rightmost in the photo as well at a maximum and Foxtrot did really seem to fit it so I was happy with that but it does turn out it was Echo and we will look back on this as one of the two tasks we do need to look back on but also the final task with 177 realising it was a zero but there were 121 for Bravo and 90 for Delta as well even though Delta was the answer to the fourth task. I think there was probably a lot of confusion in this station and it was really quite a hard station to finish on but well done if you did manage to get it right and really the rest of the percentages here were very well answered apart from maybe one or two others within the stations but most were high so well done for completing most of the tasks fairly successfully. Let's go back and have a look at those two mistakes then which we didn't manage to find in today and as we go back to station two which is the first one it was task 23 and here we were identifying as it loads the tree and we wanted the western side side of that tree and to me looking at it Foxtrot was the only candidate but Foxtrot seemed way too far forward to be at the base of that tree and I thought the cane was going into the foot of the knoll which is a long way south of the tree but it does turn out that this is probably just a depth perception error and it is actually meant to be Foxtrot on the western side of the tree so well done if you did manage to spot that and then also if we move to the eighth station the very first task here I put Foxtrot instead of Echo like we said before and really to me I saw the spur coming out and I saw a spur here and thought that that is going to be Foxtrot with Echo going round the corner of the contour being up here. But I can kind of see now that even if Foxtrot was on the spur it wasn't quite high up so it's probably not going to be Foxtrot and really there could be a spur here. It does look like it's probably coming out a bit and so that one is actually Echo rather than Zero or Foxtrot so well done if you did manage to spot that and again well done if you did manage to get any of the tasks right in today I thought it was a very tough day really. It was really good fun but I think especially adapted to virtual trailer there were a couple of tasks which were hard to grasp. I think a fair example of that was 24 as the null that we wanted blended into the echo null. But overall it was a good day. Most of the tasks were very fair. So thank you again to Sultan and Zusan for putting this on. But let's go back and have a look now and see what that has done to the actual results. And you will see that for the A category I am still holding on to the lead. Even though I've had a relatively bad day today they have set it. So it's currently using your best two of three events and that does leave me in first place with my first two events being fairly high. Christian has then closed the gap though, moving 0.9 points behind me in second place and Severin is only 0.3 behind him. So it is even a lot closer now for the top three, with Alessio just over a point behind Severin and Marcelo almost two points behind Alessio. And yeah, really anything can happen going into the second race in this second week and we will have to see how this plays out. And then moving on to the clubs then, it was probably no surprise to see that Massey are in the lead after they won today as well, but they 
they have discarded today's scores as their other two are higher. And then MDoc are holding on to second place, eight points behind Massey, with Linker Pings coming 15 points behind MDoc. So it's looking quite close for first and second place at the moment, even though Massey are most likely going to take it as they do keep winning every event. But it's looking like it's going to be a battle for first place between first and second, and then a battle for third, definitely between Linker Pings, Krakow two and a half points behind them, and then Bratislava one and a half points behind Krakow. So we will have to follow this again and see how this plays out over the next five events. And then finally, for the countries, you can see that by no surprise, the Italians are in the lead, although they didn't win today's event. They have discarded today's score, keeping their lead of just under 10 points with the Finns behind them, and then the Swedes another seven points behind the Finns. So definitely the country's race is spread out a bit more with the Italians taking the storm to start with. And we will have to see if any other countries can climb into the medal positions with GBR in fourth place, only 1.3 points behind the Swedes, and then the Germans about 20 points behind the Brits. And really with that, this brings us to the end of this third day. As I do keep saying, I have enjoyed it. I think it was a good challenge. It was different in variety to the previous two urban courses. And I am really excited to come back again on Thursday for the fourth event. But for now, this is going to be the end of today's video. So thank you all again for watching. If you'd like to like the video, if you've enjoyed it as always, and be subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, clicking the bell next to the subscribe button and selecting all to make sure you're notified whenever I release a video and also be remembering to share these videos the number of people competing is still growing and so I know we'll definitely make it to a thousand at some point but the more you share these videos and the simulator with people the quicker that will happen so make sure you are definitely doing that and also be remembering to comment down below any extra analysis you think I missed from this video any extra points you want to make and any small extra additions you think will be good in it and I will join you again in a couple of days time for the fourth round of the A category in Taurus season three. Mm -hmm.